Audio. Video. Getting rid of stupid banner. Never know how to do that. There we go. All right. Hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, previously, uh, we were looking at using R. And I think I at some point want to get this so I can have all the buffers I had loaded still loaded. But that is not something that is happening right now. Um, and we were having trouble because um, it's really hard. R sucks is the reason. But <coughs> more specifically, uh, we were having trouble with data frames and list grouping. It turns out a data frame isn't quite the same thing as a list or a matrix. So this here, this deaths equal, this creates a data frame. Um, and these really do the same thing also. Uh, so you can't, taking a transpose is something you could do for a matrix, but not really for a data frame. Um, so, so, um, so what I did yesterday on my own, I know, I know, it's terrible. I looked at the SQL DF library, which lets you use uh, SQL on data frames, as the name would suggest. And I could, I got this working, but this, this isn't what we want. We don't want like a single row that represents all the deaths, single column. We want an array that represents all the deaths. Um, so all of this is, and by the way, all of these the libraries are available at the CRAN R project, but you can also just load them directly uh, inside of R using this. And I don't know if there's a way to, the problem is when I run this on my other machine, uh, the packages are in a different place, so I had to reinstall these on my other machine as well. Um, I do not know if there's a good way to, I mean, we could do this. Um, but the problem is, it, it won't reinstall it, but it will, it will like, fuzz, fuddle a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that does. Uh, so we want, well, we actually have this here. It's R, no restore data, and... Yeah, that's just weird. I, I'm not sure I want to really do that. But anyway, source. Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay. So source, BC. Oh, so my data session is actually stored in the same directory that I was in. So if I do this, there we go. Oh, shoot. Yeah. These were just notes I made to myself. We don't actually want to run them. Uh, in fact, we probably don't want to run any of this stuff. So let me just go ahead and show you what happens. The DF package I do need to install. So the problem is it still gives you a few... It's, it hates you. And I hate it, so I'm going to make it go to Australia. Canberra. I think Perth is one of the cities that's furthest away from me, but it's not... There's a very tiny island somewhere uh, that's, I think, further away. I think it's called Lagadon something. Um, but they don't have a they don't have a mirror there. Okay, so we're going to basically have to load SQLDF. The other ones should already uh, be loaded, so we shouldn't have to do anything there unless... Okay, unless I've really effed this up. And if it starts creating... Um, let me check that really quickly. I want to make sure we're not creating um, an entire... Um, it is Pomodoro time. It's the first one, so we're going to skip it. Okay. And I want to make sure it's not creating an entire substructure within uh, the R directory, uh, but it is. It, tr it probably is in my... Um, uh, in my uh, the only files that are here are these, which I don't like. Um, by the way, it turns out R data is in... Uh, is in Z in gzip compressed format, so you can do this, but it's still a binary. Um, and it looks like it's just pretty much the data frame table, which is probably the only thing I stored. Uh, so not, not a huge deal. Uh, but kind of weird that it's in the directory you, you started it. Um, clean up because I want to get rid of these. Again, this is kind of weird because, yeah, Emacs creates files all over the place. There's a way to stop it from doing it, but, um, ooh, this is going to take a while. Um, but I tried it and it didn't work. So, I mean, obviously there's probably a correct way of doing it too. Um, so a little bit of a preview of what we're going to do here. Instead of uh, trying to be super smart and do it the right way, which is like a problem I have, um, we're going to use a for loop. Uh, I did look it up. There are for loops in R. Uh, if we loop through the name of names of countries uh, and then assign them to... Um, to entire arrays, we should have close to what we had in Maxima. Um, and we will look at that in just a second as... Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh, yes, and I am uh, on my um, third day of the coronavirus. Actually, I guess I'm on my eighth day of the coronavirus, so the symptoms are starting to show. Uh, I expect to be dead in another 11 days, so if you're watching the stream, you know, 11 more days and, and, and the pain is gone for both me and for you. Okay, um, let's go ahead and bring up, because I did this on my other machine, um, but... I don't have it here, but this is not very hard. This is what you would expect it to be. Uh, and it is for Val and Sequence, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and this is the ugly way of doing it because it's clearly there's a smarter way of doing it, but clearly I'm not smart enough for that way. And I keep forgetting I'm not, you know, even the language is very intelligent. There should be a way to get rid of this because this is, I hate this. This is from, um, oh. I think this entire image, though, comes from JavaScript that's loaded from some site that you know helps you connect to social media bullshit like that uh, but it sucks and it doesn't go away there's a version that has like a little arrow here that goes away uh, but this one isn't it so really at some point I think people should start complaining about sites with ads saying uh, we are looking for sites that are free and ad free or where the ads are optional um, because I think just this bullshit really pisses me off well, hopefully my rant has been long enough to... Nope, it has not been long enough to install uh, the packages I need. I'm not even going to use SQLDF, but it's good to have. So this is not very difficult at all. Um, I'm hoping, because countries is going to be a vector, and then, you know, just four countries, we could say set, uh, you know... Um, I guess we could be a little bit nicer with our names here. Um, and let me... This is saved to Git because I just saved it. Um, let me clean this up a little bit here. So we're going to call this data. Um, this is a com it's not a comment on a comment, though. So I'll keep this in here, but I'll comment it out. I think there are no multi-line comments, which kind of sucks, um, because I kind of want to get rid of the rest of this. And I don't think there's a way to say... Um, well, actually, hang on. This I actually want to use, but I'm not not right now. Because right now, all I want out of this is uh, just we're gonna we're gonna rebuild this file. Um. So now, I would build it on top as always. We top host, as it were. Oh, and I didn't update the data, so I might, might as well do that as well. Although it's been just one, been one day, but you never know. It could help. Or hurt. Okay, getting it for the capital COVID-19, which I'm not sure I'm even using. And now... Doing it for the small upper lowercase. Okay, now let's see if all that ranting has... Yes, finally. Okay, now can I do R and then source this? Okay, this is bad. It really shouldn't be popping this up because it already has it. Austria, which is the same as Australia, but they're missing an L. Um, now it's... Oh, this is bad. So I, I'm going to have to get rid of that. Um, it's not going to take as long because it's already installed, but it's still kind of ugly. Yeah, this we cannot afford to do this every time. Alrighty. One more time. I know, I don't have to do it over and over again. I just like to. There we go. That's And those are the dependent packages. So deaths is a data frame. Data is a data frame. Oh, that's a good name for it, too. Um, now, I think we found... Actually, this is probably wrong. Um, this is the fourth... This is the first column of data, I think. Yeah. This is the first column, third element. And this should just be the second column, which is a list of countries. There we go. Okay. Um, so this should be a list. Is list, is that the correct? Yeah. Okay. I think it is. Is it is vector? Okay, I could do this. Uh, vector is vector. So is my data, a ve my data should not be a vector. 
However, the fourth element should be, nope, the fourth column or the second column should be, yay, so that should be a, not be a problem. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is um, get the list of countries, which means, you know, presumably, um, oh yeah, I forgot, we could also use the column names instead. Okay, so this is list of countries, and that's just getting the second column, but removing duplicates. That's not too bad. Yeah, it would be, of course, nice if I were consistent with my variable names, but <laughs> good luck with that. All right. All right, so now countries we can look at. It's not even too bad. It should be like 200-something. 188 countries, I, I think. And this is why I never get anything done, because I think. Um, two of these are actually what they call uh, international transports. That's not the right word. Yeah, MS is a dam, and there's one other. Um, international carriers, I forget what the, the clever word is, um, but it's going to be right here. Um, international conveyances. That's the big word. Um, so they're not all countries, but you know. Okay, so now we want to say very, very simply for... The only real issue here is the syntax. Okay, it is pretty standard. There are parentheses and a brace. For I in countries, now this, I wonder if this has a, um, an R mode. It does, if it does, I don't know what it is. Oh, wow, wait. Oh no, wait, what? That's weird. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll do our own um, tabbing. Um, so what I really want is, um, OK. And I think that's already a mistake. Because I'm not going, the countries, once again, is the columns for some bizarre reason. So actually, what I want is. countries comma one would be the array no that's the f wait how's that different from country oh no sorry uh, data comma one no how's that different from data one okay not happy so this is picking out the um, the first elements of each list. So I could, oh, this is going to make me cry. I could create an array. I'm almost sure this is incorrect though. 1629. If that even compile, uh, yeah. I guess I could, in, instead of calling it this, I could do this. I mean, that's... Uh, that should work, actually. Because uh, data comma one... Oh, oops. Data comma two, let's see what that does. And I have no idea what that's actually going to do, but let's take a look. Yeah, I don't think that's what I want. That did it. Now I should be, if I want, I could be maybe do a transpose of that. Uh, but I get the feeling I need to look at how to manipulate lists. Whoa. Okay, just T for transpose. I also need to do command aliasing. Okay, so now what is T1627? There's a chance that it's the right thing. Um, no. Okay, no. All right. So we have our data in a data frame. Um, what we're trying to do, we don't have row names is one of the issues because uh, the countries repeat themselves. We're trying to do it. We're trying to sort of junk the countries into one uh, big array. We're trying to set the uh, country. Uh, we're trying to set the deaths of country equal to a list of country uh, deaths, not not a single uh, entity. I mean, it is a single entity, but it's kind of a weird entity. 
Um, okay. So, oh no, I'm sorry, this is correct. Because we're, we're actually looping through countries, which actually is in the right format. When I say it's in the right format, of course, I mean that looks okay. Unless I misspelled it or something. So R does suck, but okay, it's a list. Well, how big is it? So that did not do what I wanted. Um, probably because this is not a list, is it? Well, let's find out. It's not a list. It looks like a fucking list, but it's not. What the hell is it? I think it's a... I hate my life. Um, all right, what happens if we wrap a C around it? Nope, doesn't help. Now, there's no way this can be true, but I'm going to do it just because I, I'm annoyed. Uh, if I reference the column by uh, the name... Take a moment of silence. Um, for some reason, when you reference it by the column name, you get a list, but when you reference it by the column number, you do not get a list. So this is um, stupid, but useful. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so this should be a list, but his country's a list now. This is okay. If countries is a list, give me its fourth element, you son of a bitch. So countries is apparently a list. Of, uh, let's just see what Stir tells me about it. 188 observations of one variable. That's not what I want it to be. Okay. So maybe now it's time to RTFM, read the fucking manual. Um, or just shoot myself, either one. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to replace this window because I actually do want to do this. Um, working with data frames in R. Um, oh, shiny. It's an open wiki book I can read. Okay. Um... Ooh, shiny, shiny. Oh, man. Now, I think they prefer to be called women, unless it's actually, I think it's actually chickens. Um, this is some fucking weird data. Man, whoever wrote this. Oh, wait, there is a women data set. Okay, well, looking through women is not the worst thing in the world. Unless, like, you're with one and then they're the, you really don't like that. Okay, so we'll use this data set and see what we can do with it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah done. I've already done that. I can't fuck anything with it, though. Um, okay, this is actually useful. And I will do it on my own data. Data frame, 25,000 observations of five variables. I can dig it. Summary data. Class character, mode character, country class character. Um, okay. Okay. That, that looks okay. Oh, we're past 100,000 deaths now. Woohoo! Go USA! 
Um, and we've already used, so names DF will just give me the column names. So we're, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Sorry. It would be nice if I used my own data frame. There we go. Okay, you can browse data in this, oh, shininess. I don't know if that'll work for me, because I'm not using the, um, oh, man, that is nice. Now, let me guess this, oh, wow. Hey, this is shiny. I don't know what this is built in. Is this like Tickle TK or something? What, whatever it is. Um, no, 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 Let's go to the end. Um, deaths, deaths, baby. Okay, so it's a very simplistic s spreadsheet. I can't sort by the columns or anything. Can't select. Um, Taiwan has a star by it, which bugs me. Okay. That was kind of nice. Um... I'm tempted to write these commands down somewhere. Well, let me go ahead and do that, actually. Um, it would be really nicer if we had multi line commenting here. Um, to view data frame. Summary DF and... Um, Names DF is one I forget. Stir DF. Also useful. Okay. And the one that is um, head and tail, I, I, I kind of memorize those now. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I wish I had a wider... I realize I could just make the uh, this... I might have to, actually. Do we have enough for... No. I'm going to have to make this a, li a little bit more narrow. Okay, that's, that's tight, but I think we can do it. Um, okay, C bind. Um, okay, so this is add row column, which I don't want to do yet. Um, Okay, and this is if you have multiple sets of data, you can do cool things like refer to a specific column of one data. Detecting duplicates, but not in the whole list, no. Um, creating and removing variables. Um, okay, this is kind of what we want. Um, now, where I read the instructions for subset, it said don't use subset. Um, and, oh, you can use this notation so you don't have to be arbitrary with it. All right, so got to be careful here. Okay, I think we can do this. I wish I had some sort of, uh, no, no coloring. This um, example subset. Subset. Uh, Pomodoro time, and I am going to take it this time back in two and two.
almost back. And we're back. Okay, um... I actually had subset working at one point, I think. Yeah. But was advised by someone somewhere not to use it. And that's it, on the internet, it's important, by the way. Um to just take random advice from anyone. Um, that's... okay. So th yep, that's data. Oh! Okay. Now again, this is a data frame, I and I cannot quite... I don't think I can do this to it. Well, I'm wrong, I can. I definitely can't do this to it. Well, I'm wrong, I can. I can't do this to it. I can do this to it. This is actually what I wanted. And then this should be a fucking list. Okay, yeah. Let's get a little bit closer to uh, today. Okay. Wow. So I... I, I hello, hello, hello! Ocast full. how are you doing? I am doing well. How are you doing? Welcome to my uh, mess of trying to figure out the R programming language because Maxima didn't do what I want, although I get the feeling R might not either, although R is very powerful, so it might, and I might just not be able to do what I want. So talk to me about anything you want, because I'm very bored. Um. Oh, that's awesome! Um, so I... So that was the last one, right? That This is the one you, ha you had to take twice, right? And you got... Uh, they asked you to write code the first time, and you didn't pass, and now they asked you just multiple choice. Hello, you god damn it, you should be the first one. No, if you're not the first, no one ever will be. That's just the way it works in this stream. Kiwadi, hi, how's it going? I know who you are, of course, because we've been talking by uh, AIM. I won't reveal your identity unless you're okay with it. Oh, that's another one. So you passed a different test. Um, but you still haven't passed the coding test. So... How far away are you from um, achieving... I assume graduation is what you're looking for, but how far away are you from graduation? And while you're answering that... Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, got it. Oh, so this is just passing this year. So the test you passed on Friday has nothing to do with it. Okay, so this is more for the, your sophomore year passing. And I'm almost sure this isn't going to work either. Did something like this yesterday and it worked. Whoa. Whew, wow. Target of assignment expands to non-language object. One thing I do like about this um, R language is that One thing I do like about this R language is that it has funky, funky error messages. So apparently, this, which many people would say looks like a list, is apparently an integer. Just, just go with that for a sec. Um, now I actually think I did this yesterday, so it kind of bugs me that I can't do it yet now. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, I get it. From, to, very clever use of the English language. So clever that I almost missed it. Um, so we practice. Okay, okay. Well, good luck with all that. If anyone here knows any, oh, hello, Benny Drake, the fanboy. I don't remember what the hell you asked for. Oh yeah, I do remember what you were asking for yesterday. I have three people in chat. I'm, I'm very impressed with myself. Uh, what were we looking for news on? I, th I think I remember, but, but remind me. And remember my um, 
sort of soft rule that we discussed yesterday. So I do not remember how I declared. It might be that you have to do. Then can you? No, no, that's all I meant to do. Soft rule. Oh Jesus! Don't don't say that. That's like the worst thing that could happen. Have people who are. Who actually like? Is she on? Is she streaming right now? Miglabyte, by the way. Miggle is Miglabyte. Uh, I will type out her name somewhere in README Stream. I think I already have it in README Stream. Um, Miglabyte is wonderful. So this is the person you should be streaming. And I don't mean like when I'm not streaming. That, you know, a lot of streamers say, well, when I'm not streaming, you should watch this person. You should go watch this person right now. Just freaking, I should rate her right now. Just to fuck with her. No, she's a wonderful person. I love her. Um, she's playing Half-Life. I am tempted to raid her, but I don't have enough viewers for that. Plus, I actually, if you came here to watch me, if you want, came here for suffering, I, I will give you suffering. And uh, coding in R appears to be the worst kind of suffering. Um, anyway, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was trying to set, see if I could do this after I defined foo. Okay, that's... It, the hell is foo? What have I done to foo? That is just weird. Is it remove var? No, just remove. Okay, let's try that again now. So what's weird here is I got a complaint. But it did assign foo. No, it didn't. Uh. All right, I have to do this. Create an empty list. Do this. And ask what foo is. Nope. Um, I do not make game mods. Uh, Betty. Um. I make, I'm trying to make a game, but that is kind of removed from what I'm doing today. Uh, today I'm trying to figure out the R language, uh, eventually to get up, I think we talked about this yesterday, an ecliptical map where I can draw planets on it. Um, yeah, but not right now. Okay, so let me go back to what I was trying to do, but this is, this is kind of what I want. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can do this. Whoa! That wasn't supposed to work. Oh, oh, nice! Hang on. Okay, so I have to declare foo first, and then I can do this magic. I'm still very, very suspicious, though. So we'll make foo an empty list, then we'll do foo Sweden, and we'll look at foo. Okay. Will the ecliptical map interface run on Windows or just the, the ecliptical map interface, uh, these are COVID stats, uh, will run on the web, it's JavaScript. Uh, and these are COVID stats, yes. And Sweden and the United States are the only two countries I know. Um, but I think we can now do what we need to do. Um, Megalobite remains wonderful, by the way, even though I'm switching away from... Okay, 4i in country. So th this is actually pretty simple. So we need to first uh, declare an empty list. And here... Uh, we should be able to do just this. Not, we won't set everything to Sweden because that's a little bit weird. Um, one thing I do like about this is it has better formatting uh, for uh, multiple commands. You can use semicolons 
Maxima uses commas, but it used commas for other things, so it's really confusing. Uh, okay. I'm going to move this a little bit this way so I can see what you guys are doing. Let's see if there's any new messages. Uh, so this, if this motherfucker works... You know what? Let's just reload. Ooh. Did that work? I mean... It actually does look like, uh, even though you can't really see it that well, it does look like it kind of, well, shit. That, that maybe would have been a bad idea to print that out. But I noticed that the numbers are actually changing. So let's just say, what is deaths of U.S.? How many, too many people have, no, that's not what we want. What's deaths of Sweden? Tell me what deaths is all about. What is death all about? Okay. Didn't quite get there. Uh, sorry, I keep looking at chat because I don't have an alert. So can I do this? Um, no, actually I want to I want to see something here. Um, always Sweden. Always, always Sweden. Oh, shit, did I mean to do this? Okay, uh, I think what I had before was a data frame. I think I actually need to do... Take the... Take away the names of the rows. Yes, I know, that's insanely stupid. A. Okay. Nope, I don't think this is correct. Oh, that's an interesting summary, though. Uh, give me just the first few lines. Yeah. Okay. So how do I declare... Can I... I'm almost sure this isn't going to work, but a, a variation of it might. Oh. And now what if I do this for loop? Okay, that might be because I had deaths already defined. So let's do this. Deaths of nothingness is equal to zero. That's just the empty country. I think I had to do this in maxima two for some bizarre reason. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um. Okay, so I need to create deaths and then set one element to the right length, which is, like, insanely not the right way of doing it. So it's going to be empty, and it's the sort of empty thing is going to be zero. I, I have grave doubts about this. Damn it. Oh! No, 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 no. Yes, okay, I see what's wrong. Uh, each death is going to have the same length. Um, and it's not one, it's going to be like how many ever days of data I have. So that is something I could probably find. Um, get the list of days. And I think it's days, but let me check. Let me just see what that does. Yeah, that's... I, I'm going insane with parentheses here. All right. See? Yep, that one I saw. That one I saw coming. Uh, date. I know I said tut at the end of that for emphasis. Okay, so now days is just this. Oh, okay, that's fine actually. Um, I need to unique it, but aside from that, it's fine. Wait. 
I did unique it. Oh, maybe did I? I did. Oh fuck. Why did that work for countries though? Data. Date. All right, maybe I just messed it up by doing too much stuff. So I'm always I can always restart. Um, someone please shoot me. Okay. Alrighty, well, we're going to be a little bit clever. What if we turn it into a vector? It doesn't help. Can I say countries five? Yeah. So I think maybe... Um, I think maybe the problem here is uh, data country is... Oh, yeah, and I might need to do just to get the countries. Someone who actually knows about um, R the R language is probably dying. Um, so if you're watching this and you know anything about R, uh, help me so I don't have to master the language. <whistles> okay, that one's okay. That's looking more promising. How many days has this virus been? It's actually the data goes back to the uh, first of January, but we ha the the virus has been going on longer than that. Um, so 129, nice. Um, okay, and now length countries. I'm sure this is not the right way to do it. 188, okay, that's fine. Um. And so now, uh, for the, the empty one, I need to say deaths equals days, because the then it'll have the right dimensions. So now, this should actually work. Oh, sorry, I haven't done the important thing yet. Da-da-da. Fucking hell. Number of elements to replace is not a multiple of the replacement length. Well, and this might just be because I said, okay. Okay. I think I know what's wrong. Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. And we are almost back. We are still almost back, and I do see the chat, so I'll be there in just a sec. Ah. Um, me? 
I, there's oh oh yeah no the uh, back in two and two is from Bob Eubanks and uh, no I'm not related to him but I, I stole his phrase um, and that's two minutes of commercials uh, one second for the in the bumper that ends the that switches from the show to the commercials and one second for the bumper that comes back from the commercials into the show I'm pretty sure it's Bob Eubanks that says that but anyway Okay, let's see what I did wrong here. I think once... No, shit. Yeah. Either one. Game show hosts are completely replaceable with each other. So why... Okay, so... Alrighty. Let's see what the hell's wrong here. Um, now maybe, maybe I F this up by saying, no, actually I have to def, maybe I can do this. Maybe I just want to use the empty string here. Of course it's not. Okay, we're not going to look at the warnings this time. Uh, let's see what deaths is. So what is deaths of this thing? That's not what I wanted it to be. What is days? Days is the list of... Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So let's try this. Let's... We're getting closer. Um... Okay, I can't really watch video on video, but I know you're just showing me this very temporarily. Oh, is it? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. I can't believe I had that wrong. That is really terrible. So apparently other people have confused this. Um, okay, I think what he said was um, maybe if you like what you saw, I'm Bob Eubanks. If you didn't like what you saw, I'm Bob Barker. I think that might be his joke. Okay, well, I am... Terribly terrible. Um, okay, so now this is a list, but you're telling me I can't assign it to this. Wait, that shouldn't have even worked. Oh, I guess the variable lives outside, so it's this. Okay. Um, I cannot do this apparently. Okay, so I'm going to remove deaths. I wish I could do that, but no. Um, okay. So what if I do this? Death is now an empty object. It's not a multiple of replacement length. Now this better not work. Oh. How the hell did that work? Motherfucker. Okay, hang on. If this is one of those things where equal and this thing are different... I want you to do. 
Um, so if I say this, it's going to complain at me. What this will do? Okay, can I do this? I <laughs> have to use zero length variable name. Um, so I don't really want these to be. Yeah, I don't want these to be variable names. I want them to be thingamabobbies. I want them to be data sets. I want them to be uh, the keys, actually. All right, let's go back and read some more and see if we can learn something. I, apparently not. I mean, clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. But anyway, subset of the data. Okay, so subset. Subset of a uh, data frame creates an other data frame. Um... Oh, this might be what I want. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, data frame. Okay, so this is a country's GDP. So now what I want is... Um... Oh, so this just lists out every column. Um, as a separate row. So here you'd have six. Um, one one would be time. OK. That's not helpful here. It's interesting, though. Um, and we want to generate a fake data set function. Merging data frames. No. Fucking data frames in the ass. Um, okay, so we're moving closer to what we want. Um, okay, so 99% of this is not what I, because I've got my data here, that's not the problem. I just want to use my data. Maybe that's the thing Twitch can't do. Graphics, this is going worse. Uh, let's see. Data types, text process, so this is all our basics. Uh, let's look at data types real briefly here. Vectors, um okay this might be this might actually be useful information so it's a class type of class and type of do not appear to be the same thing which might actually be important let me just copy this and then i'll comment it so i guess what i need to find is the word Associative arrays don't exist. Well, they do exist, but they don't exist. Um, vectors, okay. Uh, not too bad there. I've done this is fine. Oh, we can use sequence to create a like a a little vector. Um. um transforms a vec a factor. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. So basically this goes from trivial to unreadable. I like, I like, I like textbooks that do that. Um, okay. Um, Okay, I guess factoring 
creates a sort on the variable keys matrix okay that's cool um, function t transposes okay arrays okay Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe over here I just need to say, let me just if I can define something to be an array but without it actually putting anything into it. Alright, so let's see if we can initialize deaths with... We'll keep days around, because it's kind of cool, but... Um, and that way, we don't have to... Um, we don't have to define a size for it right away. I get the feeling this is still not going to work, but... Uh, this there's no way this is gonna work. Yeah. Okay. Arrays. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I can transform a list into a vector. That might be useful, actually. Um, Some of the hell this is first. Yeah, I probably should change that example to data. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this to. Um, GitHub just because I have it in a while. And I probably shouldn't be keeping my R data and R history files here, not because I've done anything wrong, but because um, it's going to change every time and it's not going to be very interesting to people. Okay. Um... So this is, well actually what I want from this is this. Okay, is this a list? No. Is it a vector? It is a vector. Can I assign it? To something? No. What if I say foo is an array? Now can I assign it to foo? Nope. Okay, let's continue. Um, um, okay. So this is the big thing that this is a, a list of variables vectors of same length. Uh, a data frame of two vectors is created, each of five elements. Uh, okay. Um, wait. That's it? Aggregation, or this sounds like a much better, uh, hopefully it's still free. Wow. A 
apparently this is a link to um, uh, is this um, that company that uh, no apparently not um, well good so that link just goes totally to the wrong place okay this might actually be useful Okay. This is all good stuff, because, I mean, I don't know what any of this crap is. Uh, the patient, okay, so the patient, okay. You can't contain this data in it. Well, okay. Um, okay. Hang on. Oh, the patient data is itself. Oh, no, hang on. Um, okay, right, right. That's the same thing. Um, um, patient. How is that different? Ooh. Okay, okay, hang on, this could be useful. Um Okay, that could be very useful. Stupid but useful. Um so we want table data um country and data Interesting. Um, I'm guessing there's more columns going that direction. Uh, so let's look at the fourth element of that array. No. Let's not look at the fourth element of that array. Um, let's look at the head of this table. Um... Now this is bad because I wanted to group by deaths. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so it broke up the deaths. <sighs> okay. That's insane. Pomodoro time, back in two and two, and I'll explain what I'm doing. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay, so that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so that basically took the value of each death uh, and says how, how often has a country had 80,682 deaths? Obviously, that's not what we want. Um, so we want... I'm almost sure this is going to be correct. 
incorrect too. Well, this is definitely going to be incorrect, uh, but this is going to be incorrect as well. Yeah, because this is only how often the date appears, not how many deaths there are. Okay, so we continue with our... Okay. Um... Okay, that's that's just a shortcut. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, this is great stuff for people who already know what they're doing. Um... Oh, hang on, that could be useful. Um, no, unfortunately, I can't make row names equal to country because each row appears more than once. I have to kind of group them together. Um, cool. Not helpful. I don't know why I'm returning to this because it wasn't that helpful either. <sighs> okay. Uh, um, I mean, I guess I could say array grouping. Actually, what the hell did the hell I get from here? Was this like data frame? Um, working with. There, there we are. All right. 15 easy solutions. Well, hopefully one of them will work. Also, fuck this. Um, oh my god. Okay. Um... So this tells us why um, data frames are great. Okay. Um, okay. I know how to create the motherfuckers. Not that I'm bitter. Uh, so basically, we're going to get 15 answers, but it's going to take us forever. Okay. Oh, I see this. You're supposed to work along with them, um, which I'm not going to do. Wow, this is kind of amazing. I'm like deep into this page and they haven't given me a single answer yet. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the thing you're not even supposed to do. My God. Okay, this might be useful. Interesting. Okay, actually I want to see what the hell you do that. Um... I still can't really get associative arrays this way. This is still kind of, um, this is still assigning to a single variable. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, apparently, the, the, this is just trying to sell a bigger course. Um, okay, here we go. Here's the good stuff. I hope. Empty data frame. Okay, that's fine. That's not my problem. Um, okay, that's fine too. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is basically just saying if I want the third row of um, this should be the third country that but okay hang on am I doing this wrong that one should have been pretty easy that one should have just flown um, all right oh what oh it's country obviously Okay, getting annoyed. Okay, hang on. So this is my data frame, and I want first and third columns for row four. Um, oh wait, is it? Oh, 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 this might be new notation. I still get the feeling this is wrong though. Um, yeah. So there's this. Okay. Um. I think I missed something. So this gives us... What does this give us? Okay. Um. I mean, one. This should mean the first four columns, and this should mean two rows. But apparently they flipped it, so this means rows and then columns. Now how the hell did they do that? Let me see if I can do it with my... Can I do, can I do it with my data set? Uh, I want columns one through... Rows one through two, columns also one through two. Just no... So this will give me two call. Interesting. But this should work. All right, it's a data frame I know, but you. St st oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm fucked. I'm, I meant to do data. Ah, okay, now what if I do this? Aha! But if I do this... Fucking hell! So this means the second column. But this means... The second row, f oh my god. That is fucking insane. Okay, let's go ahead and get this down here. Uh, is the second column, data 3, 2, is the third row, second column. So for some reason, when you add a pre... So you would think that data 2 is the... Um, being the first... Um, the second column, you would think. Yeah. No. 
data two. Okay, comma one. Okay, then motherfucker. So that's apparently equivalent to. I'm going to write that down. This is this is where you begin your journey of hate. decided that when you add uh, an argument, I mean, it's not really an argument, but still, um, the, it's not, the default argument doesn't remain the way it's supposed, it's fucked in the ass is what this is, uh, but this might actually help me do what I need here, um, so in theory, I could have just said, Oh no, because I need I need uniqueness. But anyway, uh, let's see. So if I do this, and I will set I to I know we'll, we'll we'll ignore away for a while. Okay, that is not a list. So I want the second column of that, but it's not really no, it's not. It's not really what it looks like. Tell me what this actually is. It's 129 by 1. So if I want the first column... Ah, actually, that's all I need to do. Um, if I want the first column of this... Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Zero columns and 129 rows. Lying piece of shit. All right, what about this? Okay, what is this? Tell me what this is. Integer zero. Is this a vector? Is this a list? Am I going to pull my hair out? Yes. Um, I mean, I could create a data frame whose columns are the country names and the rows are the deaths per day. Or actually the date and the deaths. No, no, actually the deaths. Um, yeah, the date and the deaths per day. Um, so let me, is this a data frame? But is this a data frame if I do it like this? Okay. So my subset brings me another data frame. Um... And because this is a data frame, um, okay, all right, let's try this. Empty data, good, good deal. Now, can I do this? Can I do this? Replacement has four rows, data has none. Okay. I might be able to do that though. Um, Okay, well, if you can't beat them. Now, actually, just data frame days. Let's see if that works. Interesting. Uh, of one variable. Uh, factor with 121 rows. Okay. Um, Okay. 
Patrick, tell me a little bit more about Fu. Okay. Get so many of Fu. Okay. So now can I say... Oh! Well, that may be actually useful. Okay. Now, I don't want to set a data frame to another data frame. But what if I take the first value of this? This is not a data frame anymore, which is fine. Uh, in fact, let's look at it real quickly. This is just a list of the deaths in Norway. Okay, so now can I say foo Norway equals this? Oh, shiny! I still don't think this is the right way to do things, but... Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get push this to get just because I'm paranoid. All right. Okay. Um, so what you actually want here is to, 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 to create df for deaths. Deaths equals data frame. Um... And what did I do after that? Oh, actually, I have to make it a data frame with days because it has to have the right number of rows. And then, basically, um, I did this. And is that the end of it? That is the end of it. All right. Still kind of stupid, but let's see if it works. Well, that at least didn't have any errors. Um, okay. It's not bad, actually. Um, I, not the number of deaths, the, uh, the way it's working. Well, this is giving me what I want, then. The only thing I'm worried about is that if countries have funny names... A Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And... Okay. All right, and I did push this to get because this is a, a major uh, breakthrough. I'm kind of curious, what is, th what is the type of this object? Is it a data frame? It's a list. Uh, is it a list? Is it a vector? No. Is it a data frame? Okay. So it's multiple things. Now. Now I want to plot some data. Um, okay. Um... Now the real question is, can I just do this? 
technically it is two rows, but I don't know if that'll... Interesting. Um, how do we get out of this? Okay. Hmm. What if I do this? Days versus deaths. That shouldn't be the case. Ah. Once again, the data frame stupidity has was weird. Okay, so I've got the X columns, the Y columns. I guess we'll call this days, we'll call this deaths. Yep, something's it's unhappy about something. And I this is I don't want a log plot. Okay. Okay, let's let's maybe look at some let's look at plotting a little bit more. Okay, the coordinates of the point. Alternatively, a single plotting structure uh, with a plot method can be the coordinates of the plot if x is an appropriate structure. Um, type. Where do I put that in? Um, So table seems to be kind of a magic function here. Let's see what it does. That's interesting because it's not what I wanted. Jesus Christ. I want to know about the function table. this. I've discovered a second country. Um, that's vaguely shiny. That's interesting. I have no idea what the hell that is actually. Um, days is just a list, right? Yeah, okay. Um, um, oh. The problem here might be these things are not numbers. Okay. So I cannot use them to plot. Can I just say plot death sweeten? Oh yeah, that's what that does. Um, Cause I don't have an x variable. Okay, okay, okay. We, let's see. Um, I could just create a range. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is badness. Cause death Sweden is this funny, stupid thing. I wanted to plot this. Hey! I just applauded myself. Okay. So we can see the death rate in Sweden is increasing because it's impossible for people to undie. Um, it's worse than the U.S. Okay. Oh, man. Obviously. Okay, but the, the curve is actually very similar. Um... I guess I should probably, now that I figured this out, I might as well give them labels, right? 
Um, because as soon as something breaks, uh, oh, actually, be careful here, uh, because this is. Ooh, can I do this? I'm almost sure this is gonna fail. Yeah. So the problem is if I'm gonna introduce, if I'm gonna label the, can I do this? Ooh. That didn't, didn't actually do anything, but but still, ooh. It's also the wrong label, but okay. Let's see. Um, X label is not a graphical parameter, is not a graphical parameter. Okay, so basically I have to put it in the correct position. So can I do this? Can I, this is, if this works, I'll be shocked. Okay, good. Um, okay. Well, we've got our first little plot going here. Um, it's too bad this looks look crappy. This looks crappy. Now the question is, how do we do linear regression on this data that we finally have? Um, also, hang on. That's interesting because I set it to comma one, but it ends up as being more than that. So, but I can go another comma one on that. So the obvious question is, let me do this real quick. Um, I'll pick on Norway for a while. Okay. So I did this. Okay. But it's still set... Oh, because death is a data frame. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Because it has this other column in it anyway. So this is, this is correct. Because this is actually a list of days versus a list of... So why can't I just plot this? Why does that not like that? I mean, in this case, I happen to be very lucky that uh, the index happens to be the same as the array element number, uh, so that that worked out for me. But um, in general, not not great. Okay. Um, so the real thing, of course, I want to do is do some sort of linear regression on this. Um, and that, that is like, we're now at the point where we can actually start. Um, hopefully that is a, um, okay, that's actually kind of nice. Um, Okay. That might be too deep. Um I guess the question is what the hell is LM? Is it linear linear match? Oh. Uh, that's a little bit too much for me. I do remember NLS is, is non-linear something. Um, fun, fun. Um, I've actually done this before, so let's take a look here. Um, And this is actually probably not the best way to do this, because NLS is actually um, uh, not the kind of regression I want. Because uh, I do want, because my data is linear actually. So let's do a help. This should be a very huge topic. Yep. 
curve fitting. Curve fitting is what I'm actually looking for. Okay, so that was way too. Um, linear regression in R. Okay, there we go. Something a little bit simpler. That well, wait, wait. Right. So this epsilon is just the the, the residuals. What I would call them. Make your way to the fast link known, that's a lie. Um, okay, good, good, good. Oh, that's not good. So, yes, we've done this part of it here. Um, oh. I still don't know if I can use X. Let me try that, but I get the feeling that's not going to work. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, that one we may need to load some more libraries for. Um, let's not worry about it because we're not actually doing, I'm actually more interested in the, uh, the, um, okay. I'm actually more interested in the formula. Um, okay. Correlation's not going to be great. Now, let me see if I can do this a little bit better here. Um, what is death's index? Is this the thing that's going to give me the... No. It might be the zeroth column. Oh, right, because I flipped it. So, um, uh, what is death's, the zeroth column? Wait. The zeroth column, not the... Mm. Huh. Can I get the zeroth column of that? No. But it does know it's a data frame with zero columns and 129 rows. Okay. Is there a function that gives me, uh, like, a range? Uh, not quite what I want, but I mean, I want to create an integer range. Um, Okay, so the problem here with my data frame is I do not have a, um, I do not have an indexing column. Um, I do have, this should be 120, oh right, because that, stop being a piece of shit. All right, show me the fourth column, no, once again. Fourth row. Um, oh, right, because all of these are by column now. Hmm. So actually, the names of death are going to be the countries. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and the lists are going to be the days and... So we've got tons and tons of columns here. Um, uh, let's see. And I've got tons and tons of days here. So this is just a list of days. Um, almost sure this isn't going to do what I want. Oh, well, yeah, they're okay. And death zero is not quite what I wa want. Um, okay, 
I think d you can't really use zero that way. Now I could create an artificial indexing column. Um, by, let's see. Could I though? Um, I mean, I could do date manipulations on this. Um, I could do C bind to get a new column, but I can I well let's, let's see if I can create a column that has nothing but um, um, Actually, what the hell is R bind? Maybe that's what I needed. Okay. Generalized vectors or matrices. This might be what I needed. Let's take a look at how they... That's like totally unhelpful. So now we will look for an R bind tutorial in the hope that uh, even though the R in R bind doesn't stand for um, okay, let's look at this. Uh, Uh, it is Pomodoro time. I'm not going to take it, but I probably will end in the next 20 minutes. Um, okay. So this is more of a, like a join function, apparently. Oh wait, this just this is just a union. That's fucking lame. That helps, like, not at all. All right. Um, let me, there's a way to create a range in, in um, a range of numbers in, I don't think this is it. I don't, this might be it, actually. Um... Oh, I think it's as close as this. Boo fucking yeah. Um, double boo fucking yeah. Okay, so now what we can do here is say deaths. Uh, we can't call it days because we've got sort of used index. Uh, equal C1 length of days. So in fact, we don't actually even need this. We could... Um, We could just put, well, I, I don't want to do that. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, hello, 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 hello. No, no worries at all. G good luck catching the sun at noon. Thank you for watching. Anybody else in chat, please feel free to say hello or goodbye. You say hello, I say goodbye, whatever. Uh, okay. Okay, so now let's look at deaths. Uh, that was probably not the best thing to do. I probably meant to say summary there. Wow, that's a hell of a summary there. Um, give me the head. Oh, this is not necessarily going to be what I want. Okay. Um, 
So now I should be able to get deaths of index and just have the fucking piece of shit not work. Uh, oh, I did lowercase index. And this, there we go, and it just happens to be identical. So, but now we can do stuff like, um, now we can use two variable plotting. Um, so X is going to be, I wonder if this will work. I kind of get the feeling it won't. Well, that's not why, though. Uh, this should just be... This should be fine. Okay, good. Um, you know, some, some purist for R, even someone who d just barely likes R, is going to point out this is hideous. Um, but it does work, so let's... So now I should be able to do my X label and my Y label. Um, or, as we say, we cannot, oh shit, um, okay, so let me, tell me how to do plot. Jesus. Um, okay. Plot x y comma comma comma. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I see it. Um, x lab y lab. So this would be x lab equals. Oh, so I was doing what um, label. There we go. The the nas. Okay, days versus deaths. That's that's kind of cool. Um, this is really hideous. Okay. Uh, okay. So then our next trick here would be doing some sort of linear regression on this data. Um, but there's more to it than that. Um, unfortunately, I'm zonked. So thank you for watching the stream, um, and goodbye for now. I may or may not be back later today.